Hello everybody, this is DesHT and I'm going to give you a quick overview of my use of my modular routers mod in conjunction with a few other mods to carry out the Actually Editions empowered crystal, empowered and crystallized canola process. So from start to end, this does everything with the generators and power storage, the actual this is this area here. So from the beginning, item router which is pulling canola controller slave up here this is my main storage above then sends it left to the canola press that presses it sends it down to three fermenting barrels I believe the ratio is approximately three to one possibly close to ten to three but this works here we get our oil it's pumped into a modular router item router here now, because the item router contains a fluid tank, you can pump directly into the router like so. This item router is a fluid module, which transfers out of the router, and the only thing it can transfer, obviously, is the oil that's in the fluid tank. That will end up in this pool here. This RF tool sensor will detect oil, and when it finds it, it will send a redstone signal to the router above. Now, this router has a couple of modules in it. The dropper drop crystallized canola seed when it gets a high signal. How does it get the crystallized canola seed? It vacuums it up, and the way it vacuums it up is using this router here, drop, as so we will pull regular canola seeds, again from the same controller slave over here. It will then drop them to the right, they land on this pressure pad here, that triggers the atomic reconstructor, that will turn them into crystallized seed, vacuum module will vacuum them up. This module has got a redstone announcement, so it runs only on I. The other thing this item which it does is send crystallized canola seed down here to our empowering system. So, as it drops there, you'll get crystallized oil. This then be absorbed by this item which here, which is two fluid modules. Fluid module to the right, that's this pool here, only crystallize oil. To the left, we'll only send out crystallized oil. So you'll end up with crystallized oil in this pool as well. And then a similar process happens here. You've got a sensor, if it finds crystallized oil, it'll send a redstone signal to this router. That will drop empowered canola seed. Where does that come from? Here. When it gets a signal, it will pull empowered canola seed from the empower and it will drop it straight into the fluid. Finally, you've got one more item which you here. It's got a fluid tank again. It's got a fluid module and it will drop the empowered oil. And then simply a pressurized conduit just pulls out of the router and into an iron drum. Notice that's not connected to my system yet. I'm just using a polymer crystallized oil first and when that's empty then I'll connect this. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing to look at would be go down below. It's our empowering system. This router here, again, it pulls from the controller stave, it also pulls canola seeds, and they're simply distributed to the display stands with NRIO conduits. That is pretty much it. It's from beginning to end, using modular routers, using a bit of RF tools, a little bit of super circuit maker. Oh, by the way, this super circuit here is a comparator effectively. When this drops below 32 crystallized seed, it'll send a signal to this router here, which triggers the crystallizing process using the atomic reconstructor. So yes, a little bit of super circuit maker, a bit of Ender IO for the tanks, and you have the system. Uh, one, one other minor thing, you need to use tanks here rather than buckets because conduits send less than a bucket at a time and obviously if we had a bucket here it would only accept fluid if you send an entire bucket at once. So use a tank of some kind, anything that will accept an arbitrary amount of fluid. Here of course we can use a bucket because we're transferring one bucket from here to here. Okay, that's everything, so thank you very much, goodbye.